Hello everyone, welcome to Magic Gathering Shot. This is Will. Uh, today I'm making a video for my um, Building with Blocks article series. It's a article series about uh, the block constructed format on MTGO. Uh, right now we are currently in Theros block, so that's what I am making a video for here today. Um, in my article series, I have talked about a um, a deck that I first came up with. It was a green red ramp. Uh, it seems to be a very popular deck now that we're about a week into um, the events and rotation of the block uh, format. So I just jumped right into a, a match here. I got to play a, a daily event yesterday. I'll put a link to the article um, in the show notes here. Uh, I went 2-2. Uh, played a lot of the mirror actually. Um, played three mirror matches, played one against um, Boros, uh, Heroic uh, deck, so 2-2, two, two, it wasn't too bad, uh, I mean I couldn't be that disappointed, I didn't have that many misplays, I just didn't have the, the cards really fall my way. So what we have going on here is uh, green red ramp, so you play, you know, as much, um, many, many, as many mana dorks as you can to ultimately be able to pump out big fatties like Plukernos, uh, Polish Crusher, and other cards. So we're going to go ahead and emulate that before he starts. So actually, we'll take both of those. So in the next turn, I should be able to play my Plukernos. Here. So as I was saying, the whole idea of the deck is to um, ramp into big fat creatures and then just turn them sideways. So as we kind of go along here, I'll go over the card. So um, Plutonos is a legendary Hydra creature. It is a 5-5 five, five for 4. It has Monstrous. Um, if you don't know what Monstrous is, you probably should read up on one of my articles but what it is is it's just a way of um, pumping a creature a single time and then usually once you pump it it has an additional effect to it so Arbor Colossus is a 6-6 six, six for 5 that has reach with uh, 3 and a 3 green 3 and 3 green um, this creature becomes monstrous and uh, destroys target creature with flying uh, and opponent controls. So that's a pretty pretty powerful effect there. And we're just going to keep on playing our dudes. This might be the, the mono black devotion list that um, I've seen played around. It's uh, not the, the greatest of lists. Uh, it's not tuned enough in my opinion. I don't know what this guy thinks that he's going to get away with here, but yeah, I expected that. So we'll go to the sideboard here. Not too much in my sideboard that um, I'm thinking about bringing in against this guy. I don't think he plays enchantment, so we don't need that. We don't need these guys, so we can go for two of those, maybe three of these. Right. What do we want? Stormbreath dragons. Yeah. Instead of the hydras. Uh, the reason why I picked the Stormbreath dragon over the hydras is I expect him to be holding a lot of cards in hand, and the monstrous for Stormbreath dragon is that whenever. Um, you turn him monstrous, he deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards in his hand. So it's a nice little pump and way to get in that extra damage. So we have one of our mana dorks out uh, right here, Voyaging uh, Seder. Uh, this is an excellent card. Um, it pairs really well with uh, the dual end of the deck, Temple of Abandon, but it really pairs well with a, a card that I'm going to start trying out, and that is um, the Shrine card, which uh, 
add to your mana pool equal to the devotion. So we'll go ahead and uh, play uh, Blukernos here. See if he tries to kill it. So this has got me a little perplexed. I wonder if that death touch back to Plutonos will kill it. I think it would. Um, I guess I'll just rather see him die. So I'm going to clear out this. So I don't have to really worry about that in the future. We'll uh, flash in the, um, the boon sitter. So there's a great merchant. Oh, I forgot to... F We get a little tricky here. Love the bestow mechanic. Um, Boon Seder on Boon Seder is quite a funny little combo that you can put together there. This is what I'm talking about. Getting fatties out on the board. 8-4. Creature just swinging in, wrecking shop. So this, I don't think I've ever had this happen before. Going max, max on the Boon Seder, a 12-6. Made him discard two creature cards just to take that card out, and now I'm left with this board state still. So, uh, 
sure, you know, it costs a lot of mana to really, you know, invest like that, but I practically three for one them right there. And this game's going to close out pretty soon, as long as, I mean, you could play Grave Merchant for two. Yeah, there you go. But that's not going to be enough. Oh, I should have played the Xenagos. Well. Either way. So that's um, Greed Red and Ramp. I put up the deck list here. So if you want to check it out. Otherwise, there will be a link to the article that has it in there. Um, this has been Will for Magic Gathering Strat. Thanks for checking us out.